Partnership is not just about compatibility. Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So what do I mean by this? Well, compatibility could be a trap. So let's say your brokenness is compatible with somebody else's brokenness and you get along admirably and you're so compatible. But what happens if you heal your brokenness but the other person does not, then that, that level of compatibility is no longer there and you will start to see some stark differences. Because why? That initial form of compatibility is no longer there. And it was the one thing that drew you together. Or let's say you can be compatible with someone's demons. Yeah, as scary as that sounds, there are people that walk around that are being influenced and possessed by devil spirits. And you can be compatible with that because guess what? Devil spirits, they watch us. They know what you like. They know what your preferences are. They know all about you. And just like God can send a destiny helper, the devil can send a destiny destroyer. So while you think that person is an answer from God, it's actually a trap sent by the devil. You see, the enemy can send you pain wrapped up as a gift. And the third reason that partnership isn't compatibility based is because compatibility is many times season based. So we all have different seasons in our life or phases in our life that we go through. And let's say a particular season, you're drawn to this one other person who's going through a similar type of season as you. So let's say it's based, it could be based on family struggles, financial struggles, uh, career struggles, you name it. So you have a similarity in your season. And so you think that, well, this, this is a great foundation for a partnership. But what happens if you start experiencing success, but the other person does not? Can they handle your success? Or is it going to disrupt the partnership? And if you're dealing with a narcissist in your compatibility in that season with another person, that narcissist will become so jealous, so envious and rageful and all hell will let loose. And the fourth thing is that compatibility can be fabricated. So talking about a narcissist, what does a narcissist do? They mirror you. They collect data from you. They mimic you. They copy you. They clone you. They, they follow everything that you like, they like. So in your mind, you're thinking, wow, we're so compatible. But meanwhile, unbeknownst to you, that narcissist is only mimicking you. In other words, the compatibility is fake. There are no shared core values. That compatibility is a complete facade. So you may say, well, what do I do then, Nanette? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, the first thing is in Luke chapter four, verse 18, God's word says that Jesus Christ came to heal the brokenhearted and set the captives free. Work on yourself, get the healing that you need so that you don't become vulnerable to attract somebody else's brokenness and then become broken together. Work on yourself through Holy Scripture. The second thing that you can do is grow in your power of discernment. So when you see somebody that you meet and you think that, hmm, I wonder if we're compatible and I should form a partnership. Well, God's word has the answer for that. It says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God. And that's extremely necessary when it comes to encountering a narcissist who, again, is listening to those demonic voices in his or her ear. So you must understand demons know what you like. Demons know what you prefer. So 
you need to be sure that you're wa walking in that power of discernment and test those spirits and make sure that you are not being tricked. The third thing is, is you want somebody who you can grow with. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, be not unequally yoked or partnered or paired off with unbelievers or with darkness. Why? Because you want somebody who shares the same spiritual core values as you. And you want someone who, when you become successful and you are healing, that they are happy for you and that they follow suit, that you're both in pursuit of healing and walking in your destiny and your passion along this great journey we're on. And if they can't handle your success, they can't handle your healing, they're not for you. The fourth thing is understanding that when it comes to a narcissist, their whole world is a fabrication. It's a false or fake narrative. And here's what you can do to avoid the trap of a narcissist trying to mirror you. The first thing is be exclusive with what you share with other people. Be Hold on tight to the deep things of your heart. Don't let it loose to just anyone. In other words, guard your heart. Remind yourself that trust is based on actions, not just words and trust is earned over time. And put up strong boundaries. Trust me, when you put up strong boundaries and you encounter a narcissist, the narcissist will look for the nearest exit and run. And listen, if it seems too good to be true, to be real, it's not real. Remember that. And this is such great encouragement in Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. It says, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. I think so many times we, we remember being harmless as doves, but we forget the part to be wise as serpents. And how do you be wise? Holy scripture, because that is the wisdom that we want, we as Christians, and maybe some of you out there are wondering if you are born again, and some of you maybe want to become a Christian. If you do, go to Romans chapter 10, verses nine and 10, and it says, for if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's how beautiful and amazing getting born again is. So leave your comments down below. Know that I love you and pray for you daily. And if you found this helpful, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, walk in peace and be blessed in your hearts.